Well, hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today I want to talk to you about a piece of software to help you edit your photographs made by a company called Topaz Labs. And I've heard of Topaz programs for years and have never really tried one until this one. Um, a while back, a, a photographer that I respect a lot named Mark Smith, you've probably seen his YouTube channel, did a video about this program, and I was really impressed, but uh, my computer was pretty old and I didn't want to install any more software on it. And uh, I've just replaced my computer with one of those new M1 chip Macs, uh, a Mac Mini. And I decided to go ahead and try this program out. It's called Topaz Denoise AI, which I guess AI might mean artificial intelligence. And it's uh, a noise reduction software. Uh, I think it's especially good for wildlife pictures where a lot of times you need a lot of ISO, which gives you a lot of noise. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention also uh, one of the viewers of the channel who goes by Bass Angler also recommended this product. So I went ahead and got it and installed it on the computer and tested it out a little bit last night and I was really impressed with it and I said, you know what, let me do a video. I'll do a screen recording video and kind of let you folks see what you think about it in a real world situation. I don't have any affiliation whatsoever with uh, Topaz, so what you see is what results I'm really getting with the program. And uh, let's see if you're as impressed as I have been. I'm here at my desk, now let's hop into Lightroom. So right here is a photograph of a tufted titmouse that I made on the back porch not too long ago. And this image is only 640 ISO, but I find a lot of times with wildlife images, you can really see, especially with a big telephoto lens, you can really see a lot of noise. So let's, let's put this into Topaz. You go, once you've installed the plugin, you go to photo, edit in, Topaz Denoise AI and click on edit and what it's doing right up here it's uh it's generating a 16-bit tiff file and then it's going to load it into topaz denoise ai we'll get rid of this little dialog box and i like to take here's the preview over here and you can see it's kind of in the middle i like to move that preview to the eye area of the bird and if we click auto, it comes up with these settings. It's got remove noise on one and enhance sharpness on 38. And I, I've found that if you bump the sharpness by about 10, so I'm gonna bump it up to 48 over here, it really makes the picture look good. I like to do my sharpening, I've found, although this is, I'm only on my second day with this program, but I've, I've kind of gotten to where I like to do my sharpening in the denoise program. Topaz Denoise AI is also a great sharpening tool. So the preview is almost done being generated and now we can slide this slider back and forth and everything on the left side of the screen is not sharpened and denoised and everything on the right side of the screen is. So look at the, uh, first let's look at the feather detail here. So right now we're looking at the sharpening part. The feathers, that's the way they looked in the raw file. And look at that magicalness. I mean, a lot more detail. And let's look over here. Uh, on the top part of the file, you can see, I think, a lot of noise. Even though this photograph's only 640 ISO, there's still a lot of noise in it. And now it is just smooth and crystal clear as butter looks so so much better we'll look over here to this this lighted area look at all the noise in that and topaz denoise ai did that to it and it also sharpened up the bird at the same time with the sharpening not making the noise more uh, which you know usually if you sharpen in other programs, it will enhance the noise and make the noise more annoying. So this is just a preview to, to actually complete the progress, the, the process, you have to 
click apply like I've just done and then the computer and this is a pretty fast computer I have now but it still takes it a little while to to work on that 16-bit TIFF file. Okay so now that that process is completed we can look back in Lightroom and you can see this is the file that has been edited and let's uh, let's look at that a little closer up you can see up here buttery smooth no noise and you can see here on the bird it's nice and sharp and then if we look at whoops that's the wrong way if we look at 23 or 2503 NEF this is the version that has not been into the Topaz program and here you can see a pretty good bit of noise even though the photo is only ISO 640 you can see noise over here you can see noise over here and the birds not as sharp now we'll we'll go back and here is the version that's been worked on and you can see it is notably better and then you can start doing the rest of your adjustments on the photo okay now we're going to try one that's a little bit more difficult uh, this is ISO 2500 which is still not extraordinarily high but it's pretty high especially on an APS-C camera this this uh, shot was done with my D500 so let's take a look in Lightroom all right, so this shot uh, is of a uh, red tail hawk that we made with the D500 and the 200 to 500 Nikkor lens near um, Bald River Falls. And there was a tree in the foreground on the left. Uh, so what I'm going to do, they, they want you to, to not do much to your picture before you send it in to Topaz. But I'm going to get rid of sharpening because I'm going to sharpen with the other program and I'm going to go ahead and get my crop done. I definitely don't want this tree in the picture. But I definitely want that squirrel down below the hog to be in the shot. I don't know, this one might be best four by five. All right, so this is a majorly cropped file, which also can sometimes lend to noise. And if you look at it, there's a ton of noise and uh, the bird could be a lot sharper. So let's see what Topaz Denoise can do. Edit in Topaz Denoise AI. And once again, we're making our 16-bit TIFF file and we're opening Topaz Denoise and we'll close this dialog box. I'm going to click uh, auto right there and auto says let's remove noise at 9. Remember the previous picture said let's do it at 1. This says 9 and it has enhanced sharpness automatically at 54 and like I said I like to I like to do 10 more than it does and you your mileage may vary you might like to do less uh, but that's what's been working for me is doing about 10 over what it says oh i need to put that in the right place while it generates its preview once you move the preview box around it starts over but it doesn't take too awful long and soon we will see how it's done with this way more difficult file than the previous one that we looked at Okay, now there's what the bird, I like to look at sharpening first. There's what the bird looked like in terms of sharpness before Topaz Denoise AI did its thing. And now look at that. Suddenly it's a usable file. Uh, and then look on the left hand side of your screen. See all that noise in the background? Just tons and tons of noise. And as we sweep over to the left, you can see it is now much more usable. Pretty amazing.
pretty amazing. And dear God, I just look at the eye. Sharpened? Not sharpened. Sharpened? Not sharpened. And there's the there's no noise in the bird. Usually if I take a file like this and I sharpen it enough to where the eye looks like this instead of like this, it also looks extremely noisy and grainy. But that looks smooth. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive indeed. Now this file was cropped, so it's really, really small. So this part of the process right here is going a lot faster. But that's probably my one complaint about this program is it really takes a long time to do what it does. But I think the time is well spent because what it does is amazing. Uh, this file is going to be much smaller and we are done. Okay, so now we're back in Lightroom and here is the file that has been edited by Topaz Denoise AI. And this is what it looked like before Topaz got a hold of it. Lots of noise and mess. And here it is after it's been through Topaz. The bird is nice and sharp and the noise is pretty much gone. You know, it's still a really messy file. This one was extra tough, and I was super excited to get this shot, but uh, the conditions weren't optimal. I, I made another hawk photograph this same day um, with way better light, and it, it looks fantastic. And I mean, I'm sure Topaz could help it, but this one, Topaz saved it. All right, now let's try something a little bit different. This file right here was made with my Fujifilm X-T3, which they're known for having a funny looking wormy noise if you use a lot of ISO. And this is a photograph we made, or I made at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park at the bird show there. And as you can see, it's 6400 ISO and there's a ton of noise in it. So let me, I'm gonna go into develop and take any sharpening out. I might even crop it just a little bit, just so the file's not so big that we're working with. All right, then let's put this thing, edit in Topaz Denoise AI and see what it can do with a noisy 6400 6, ISO Fuji file. All right, we're gonna click on auto. This one has removed noise all the way up at 13. That's the highest one we've seen so far and sharpening at 36. And I'm gonna do my regular thing of increasing that by 10. You do whatever you like. And we're gonna generate a preview, which it automatically does that. As soon as you make a change or, or move the, the uh, preview box around, it automatically starts over making a preview for you to look at. All right, here we go. Did sharpen, yeah, look at the eyelashes on the bird's eye here. They're kind of muddy looking and now they're pretty sharp. And this is a spoonbill and you can see the, it's not a spoonbill, this is a hornbill. You can see it getting sharper and look at that. Look at the noise here above the hornbill. We're super, super noisy and gone. Just absolutely gone. This, this photograph's not perfectly sharp. I uh, probably could have picked a better photograph in terms of sharpness to show you, but I don't know if I could found one better in terms of noise removal. Look at that noise just horrendous and gone. That's amazing. All right, and now we'll apply. This one's going to take a while. Okay, so now we are back in Lightroom, and this is the file that we cropped and sent over to Topaz Denoise AI and this is the file that it returned and you can see it looks nice and clean and relatively sharp it's like i say this this wasn't the sharpest photograph i've ever made 
but it definitely looks better than the original. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. Let's do 200%. And you can see all that noise and not very sharp. And then this is the one that's had work done on it. And you can see the noise is gone. And it's pretty doggone sharp. Now I did notice this just now. In this area of feather detail, it's left detail in this area. And you can see noise in the background right there. And you can see some around here as well. Let me back over there see it still looks way better than this and this yeah I mean it's it's totally usable though now and the original version is pretty messy so that's Topaz Denoise AI Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and hope you uh, got something out of that. Maybe you can try to get yourself a copy of Topaz Denoise AI and see what you think about it. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you like the content, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want to see some more like this, subscribe and hit the bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.